Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to Windows Server 2022 EC2 instance on AWS Cloud. I have connected to AWS Management Console with my credentials. Click on Services, then search for EC2. Click on EC2. See, this is the EC2 dashboard and these are the EC2 resources in my current region that is Europe Stockholm. Then click on launch instance or instances to create an instance. At present I don't have instances. Click on launch instances. Provide the name for instance. Next AMI. Here select Windows. If you are unable to find Windows here, you can search here or click on browse more AMIs. By default, it has selected Microsoft Windows Server 2022 base and this is the AMI ID which is useful for automation. Next instance type t3.micro. This is the free tier eligible which means no need to pay anything. Next key pair. Key pair is used to connect to EC2 instance. Click on create new key pair. Provide the name for key pair. Key pair type is RSA and private key file format is .pem. Then click on create key pair. Once we click on create key pair, you will see the download. See, win2022.pem file has been downloaded. Next, network settings. See, network blank. Here network means VPC blank, subnet also blank. Also, auto SN public IP has been disabled. We can enable by clicking on this edit. Here in the drop down we don't have EPC subnet also same. So click on services, search for VPC, right click on VPC and select open link in new tab. Here click on create VPC. Here we have two options, one VPC and more, VPC and more it will create these subnets, route tables and network connections. See, it is going to create this many. Then click on create VPC. VPC is created. Click on refresh. See, we have VPC. Click on subnet. We have subnet. We can select subnets from the drop down. Next, we have to select this enable. See, by default, it has selected RDP port that is 3389, source type anywhere. Then storage. By default, free tier eligible customers can get up to 30 GB. See here, the note also saying same thing. You want more value, click on this add new value, but it is chargeable. Then advanced settings. have an existing domain you have to select from here in the same way I am instance profile same if you don't want to create click on create new host name click on this enable resource based IPv4 DNS requests remaining options are option the last one also option but it is important whatever the commands or scripts we have provided those will be executed at the time of EC2 Windows Server instance boot time. This is the summary. Number of instances 1, AMI, instance type, firewall name and storage information. If you are ok with all the settings, click on launch instance. See, successfully initiated launch of instance. Click on instances, EC2 dashboard, click on instances. Click on refresh. Click on instance ID. See, see, these are all properties of this EC2 instance. These are details. And this is the security group assigned, networking information, storage, status checks. Still, it is initializing. Refresh, monitoring. See, we can get the dashboard here. Tags, we have given name for the this machine. Now, 
this is the public IP v4 DNS which is used to connect to this EC2 instance Windows run then MS TSC paste the public IP click on connect now we have to find the username and password click on connect click on RDP client see this is the username copy it paste here then click on get password here we have to select the dot web file select it and click on open click on decrypt password see this is the password copy it go to rdp client paste here click on ok click on yes click on yes open PowerShell see here we get the public IP information all the details he has displayed also we can verify by typing winver on PowerShell see we have connected to Windows Server 2822 click on OK click on close start PowerShell then log off this is the one way of connection otherwise click on this download remote desktop file click on this RDP application click on connect copy this password and paste here click on ok click on yes see we have successfully connected close this one again go to instances if you want to reboot instance you have to select instance from the list then instance state first one is stop instance reboot instance terminate instance terminate will terminate instance from the AWS it is not recommended if you are not using AWS EC2 instance it is always recommended to stop because AWS charges based on the usage if you want to change security group you have to click on security and you can change if you want to get windows password select windows password and again load the file click on open click on decrypt password see this is the password and this is the username click on ok like this we can get the information if you want if you want to delete the instance you have to select the instance you have to select terminate instance ok so in this video we have seen how to create and connect to windows server 2022 instance on AWS. For more AWS or cloud videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.